One of the simplest changes in Excel 2016 relates to date data when you're working in a pivot table. In prior Excel versions, date data was added to the pivot table as is. Now what I mean by that, here's a set of data that we're going to analyse in a pivot table. There's dates, data relating to transactions. Now here in the pivot table, you can see that we've already added some fields. If I come over to the pivot table fields area and drag the date into the columns, you can see that all the dates are added as is into the column headings. This can be a bit frustrating. You can't really get a meaningful set of data out of it until you go in and right click the dates and group them. And generally we group them into things like months and quarters and years. When I click OK now, my data has just been analysed and produced in a more meaningful fashion. Now that is in Excel 2013. Here in, in Excel 2016, same data, same pivot table. I want you to watch what happens as I add the date data to the column area. Magic. What's happened is it's automatically grouped the data. It will automatically group dates, usually by months and quarters and years. I'll just expand that and you can see how it's been broken down. That's a great improvement if you work with a lot of date data. If you don't want your dates to be grouped in Excel 2016, you come back over to the column area, you remove the years and the quarters, you're left with months, you can simply right click on a date and ungroup, you're back to the way you were. A simple but effective change in Excel 2016 if you work with date data.